Hi, guys. Yes, it's me, someone you have never seen or heard of before. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm mixed race, which means I should be hot. That's my birthright. My parents were hoping for like a Keanu Reeves kind of a mix. They got a boy who made a wish to be big. Uh, I'm, I'm hot for comedy, and comedy I'm handsome. Um, in the rest of the world, I'm a duffel bag that grew eyes. Uh, I'm Asian and Jewish. All right, like, uh, like a Prius. And that Asian white mix, that should be on point, but I think my issue is that I'm like budget genetically on both sides. Uh, like my Asian part is Filipino and I love being Filipino, uh, but it's not one of the prestige Asians, you know what I mean? Like we don't even get stereotypes really. If you, if you know a stereotype about Filipinos, it might be that people say we eat dogs. Um, I can clear that up for you tonight. If you brought a dog here, I'll eat it in front of your face. Uh, people also say we point with our lips. That's true for me. So if someone's like, excuse me, Michael, which way to the nearest dog restaurant? I would be like... So that's our culture, now you have that. And then my white side is Jewish, and I love being Jewish, but that is flagrantly the worst white to be. I know there's some Jews here who are like, how dare you? That's why we're the worst. Uh, so now that you know that one of my parents is Asian and one is white, guess if it's my mom or dad who's Asian. Wow, you all got it, it's my mom. I think there are four couples in the world where it's the other way around. And those men are on a Mount Rushmore in Asia. Uh, I've been married for 11 years. I know that's hard to believe. Thank you. Thank you so much, wow. I know that's hard to believe because I'm so young and attractive. Uh, my wife and I have this one recurring argument that we can't stop having, which is that I never want to have kids, like never, 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 no matter what, under any circumstances. I'll tell her every day, I'll tell her 10 times a day, I'll whisper it in her ear while she's sleeping. I'll like write it on little notes and leave them around the house for her to find. And she gets super mad because we have two kids. Um, so fair point. And let me say this, I bet some kids are great. <laughs> Seems plausible. I could have just got a bad batch. <laughs> like my daughter is a sociopath. We fight all the time, every day. That's like our whole dynamic. A recent fight we had was that I was in the living room and she was in the kitchen. JK, that's the same room. <laughs> And she was like, Daddy, could you get me some water? And I see her standing next to the fridge, holding a glass, and I'm like, bro, it's, it's right there. You could get it yourself. She collapses to the ground, screaming and crying, and she says, when mommy asks you for water, you get it for her right away. Do you love mommy more than you love me? Without hesitation, I said, yeah. I just met you. You don't know my middle name. I have a son, I'll tell you about that person. He is a racist. And he's not even a good racist, you know what I mean? Not that there are good racists. There are good, they're great racists, if we're being honest, right? Like Thomas Jefferson, great racist, Babe Ruth, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> I mean, my son is not good at being racist. Like, we were walking through Brooklyn, and just out of the blue, the boy says, Daddy, I'm scared of black people. And then he points at a guy. And I see that he means Hasidic Jews. Because they're dressed all in black. You know what I mean? Like, we're not even nailing the racism. That's the level that we're at. A thing I like about that little vignette, too, is we learn about where we are culturally at this moment 
Because I say it's anti-black racism and we're all like, oof, I don't know if that's acceptable. And then I say it's anti-Semitism and we all go, phew, that's the safe one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.